वेलकम फ्रेंड्स इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस पल्स कोड मॉड्यूलेशन और पीसीएम पीसीएम इज द मोस्ट फंडामेंटल फॉर्म ऑफ डिजिटल पल्स मॉड्यूलेशन इन दिस सैंपलिंग एंड क्वांटाइजेशन प्रोसेस आर द बेसिक स्टेप्स टू जनरेट सीक्वेंस ऑफ कोडेड पल्सेस इनिशियली मॉड्यूलेटिंग सिग्नल एम टी इज सैंपल्ड एट टी इक्वल्स टू एन टी एस With Nyquist rate, FS is greater or equal to twice of FM. And after sampling, we have discrete time signal M function of NTS. In the quantization process, the continuous amplitude range of discrete time signal get converted into finite discrete amplitude levels, and we get quantized signal that is V function of NTS. This quantized signal is discrete in both time and amplitude, and each discrete quantized amplitude level is represented by a unique code, according to the formula L equals to two to the power n, where L is called quantization level and n is the number of bits per word. So in PCM, the sequence of coded pulse is generated at the transmitter side. The block diagram of PCM transmitter is shown in figure. In order to avoid aliasing effect, modulating signal is first passed through a pre-aliased filter before sampling. In PCM, non-uniform quantization is performed because of the availability of different voltage levels in case of telephone communication, speech signal or music signals. Non-uniform quantizer perform compression of different amplitude levels and make them uniform. Compression laws, that is A law or mu law, can be used for this purpose. After quantization, each quantum or step size is encoded into a unique code of zero and one by using L equals to two to the power n. and at the output of encoder we get a sequence of pcm data this sequence of pcm data is transmitted via a channel using transmission line but along the transmission path there is a probability of distortion and noise and in order to control this effect regenerative repeaters are connected regularly within a short of distance along the transmission line regenerative repeater consists of equalizer timing circuit and the decision making device equalizer is used to reshape the distorted pcm by compensating the effect of amplitude and phase distortion at the output of equalizer we get equalized pulse that is applied individually to both timing circuit and decision making device the function of timing circuit is to regenerate sampling process of equalized pulses at the instant of maximum signal to noise ratio this timing circuit produce a periodic sampled equalized pulse correspond to the input pcm signal In the decision making device comparison is performed with respect to the predefined threshold value lambda if threshold lambda is greater than equalized pulse p symbol 1 is the output also if lambda is less than equalized pulse symbol 0 is the output and after taking correct decision the coded pulse is transmitted to another repeater and again perform the same operation that is equalization and decision so using regenerative repeater noise and distortion are removed but sometimes repeater makes a wrong decision and in this situation there is a introduction of bit error also if the spacing between regenerative pulse deviate from predefined value 
distortion occur which is called jitter now at the pcm receiver the received pulse is reshaped or clean up for the last time using regenerative circuit after this decoder regroup the regenerative pulse into the coded word using the expansion process that is called decoding process decoder generates a quantized pulse the amplitude of this quantized pulse is the linear sum of all the pulses in the coded word since each pulse have its own fixed position that convey information and this is called place value in pcm place value is defined as 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 up to 2 to the power r minus 1 where r is the number of bits per sample now this quantized pulse is passed through the reconstruction filter that is a type of low pass filter having cut off frequency equal to the message bandwidth after filtering we get the original form of message signal that is in the continuous form now let us understand pulse code modulation graphically for this we consider any arbitrary continuous time modulating signal mt and a periodic pulse of train having constant amplitude and width after flat top sampling process we get pulse amplitude modulated signal so after sampling we perform non uniform quantization in this compression is performed at the transmitter side and we get equal step size after compression we can perform uniform quantization in this infinite amplitude levels get converted into finite levels that is discrete levels and here for example we consider two bits per word so we have four amplitude levels 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 and these four amplitude levels corresponds to the pulse amplitude modulated signal and accordingly we get a coded pulse output that is called pcm output 